Hi everyone, I'm Brenda and welcome to Phoenix Furniture Studio. I'm just doing a quick video today about how I normally clean my pieces of furniture. So it's going to be on my YouTube channel and then I'll refer back to it whenever I'm doing another piece of furniture. So I don't have to show you the tedious job of cleaning my furniture every single time. This will be like the reference video for my steps for cleaning. So piece of furniture is there, it's not in terrible condition at all, it's perfectly clean, it's just a bit dusty from where it's been in my workshop. I've got this little trolley here which I keep all my cleaning supplies in and then that just lives in the corner over there and I pull it out when I need it when I'm cleaning. And then I've got my bucket of water here. So I'll run through what I've got in my cleaning trolley so you can see the products that I generally use when I'm cleaning a piece of furniture. On the top tier of my trolley I've got my plastic gloves, I've got a couple of uh, brushes for sort of harder to reach areas and then some wire brushes as well. These are great for like rusty hardware. Um, that's just a nylon bristle brush, so a lot more gentle. I've got my continuous Mr. Bottle of Water. In here I've got some sponges, and then these drill attachments, which are great. If a piece is really um, grimy, these do a great deep clean with very little effort and in no time at all. I've also got another bigger wire brush here, again, the wire brushes are more for the hardware than the furniture piece itself. All my cloths are on tier two, just a mixture of cleaning cloths and softer cloths. And then tier three is where all the cleaning products live. So I've got glass and mirror cleaner. I've got barkeeper's friend. I've got liquid sander. So most of the time I'll use that for my clean. It just makes sure that the surface is ready for painting and that the paint will have the best chance of adhering to the surface of the furniture. Um, I've also got some rust remover in there. Again, any hardware that needs any rust removed. I've got a barkeeper's friend, another one. A metal polish and a fabric protector and then a window and glass cleaner. So those are the main products that I use. Sometimes I'll use just dish soap to clean my piece of furniture and then if I'm worried at all about the paint adhering I might go in with a second uh, wash of liquid sander but um, I don't have any dish soap at the minute. I'm talking about like fairy liquid so I'm just going to use the liquid sander pop a capful in the bucket of water and use the cloth to start giving that a wash. I will remove the hardware from the drawers before I wash the drawers because you never know what dust and dirt has managed to get trapped under there. So I'll give the frame a quick wash and then I'll start removing the drawers and removing the hardware and then we'll wash down the drawers. You want to make sure that you clean the back and the underside of your piece as well because in all likelihood that's the part that hasn't been cleaned for a really long time. Also make sure to get in all these corners here uh, because that's where dust has the tendency to collect and if you leave the dust in the corners then your paint has no chance of adhering to the furniture it'll adhere to the dust rather than the the furniture piece and then it's just going to chip away and flake away in no time 
This piece is solid wood, so I'm not particularly worried about my cloth being wet rather than just damp and wrung out. If this was a hard board piece or plywood, then you might want to wring out your cloth a bit more so it's not as wet. Otherwise, the water could cause the plywood to swell if there's any areas where the veneers chipped away or where the finishes failed. As I remove the drawers, I make sure to label them so I know where they go back. So I'll just put TL on this one for top left and top right on this one. Label this as one, two, three, and four. Now that all the drawers are out, this gives me the perfect opportunity to give everything inside a really good hoover and clean. Whilst you're cleaning, this is a really good opportunity to check that all the drawer sides are solid, that there's no issues that you need to address, and also check the underside tracks of the drawers as well, that those are all solid. That's all the inside wiped down. Now I can start on the drawers. If you can see, this straw appears to have something a little bit more stuck on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these scrubby scoury pads to give that a good clean to make sure that that comes up. Now that the insides have had a good clean, I'm going to start removing the hardware so I can give the outside a good clean. And I'm going to use my handy dandy Bosch mini drill for this. I'll have all the tools and products and things like that that I use linked in the description down below. So feel free to check them out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see all the fluff there and that you would miss that if you didn't take the hardware off.
If your water's not revolting by the time you're finished, you're not doing it properly. Everything's had a clean with the liquid stripper now and all the hardware's been removed. The next step is to get a bucket of clean water and then rinse everything down to remove any trace of that liquid sander and so that you've got a nice clean surface before you start priming. I use a different cloth when I go in with my rinse just in case there's any residue liquid sander or uh, dish soap or whatever you use to clean the actual piece by using a fresh cloth then you know it's just clean water rinsing down the surface. Everything's had a good clean and a rinse now. So I'm just gonna leave it to dry and then I'll be ready to move on to sanding, priming and painting. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's given you some insight into how I clean my furniture pieces. I hope this video has been useful to you and you've learned some tips and tricks on how to clean your furniture before you paint it. Drop me a comment below if you found this video helpful then I'd love it if you would like and subscribe and share it with um, friends and family. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.